Hey everyone, it's me Charlie here. Welcome back. I took a bit of a break for the holidays. We went to Sydney for a couple weeks, stayed in our grandparents' house, had Christmas, went and saw the New Year's fireworks, and also did a bunch of other stuff, such as going to a Sydney FC soccer game and a Sydney Kings basketball game. It was the busiest I've been in a long time. But I'm back now, and I'm ready to get back to not only making videos, but also to the start of another year. Now before you start yelling at me, I know, okay, I know, it's not New Year anymore, I'm a fair bit late, but the year still has a lot left in it. It's still January, and better late than ever is what I say. Anyway, enough delay, onto the video. New Year is a time of self-reflection, looking back on the previous year, acknowledging all the ups and downs, but most importantly, for many people, how to improve overall as a person. New Year's resolutions can vary all the way from a simple no donuts for six months or whatever, to making a serious effort to be kinder or study harder, etc. I myself am a strong believer in New Year's resolutions. I think that making an effort to reach an or multiple achievable goals is an awesome idea for self-improvement. In most cases achievable anyway. <laughs> like some of those diets, man, who's gonna go without sugar for a whole year? I mean, honestly, please. So in an attempt to improve some things about myself that maybe I didn't go so well on last year, or personally, I would like to see changed. I've written a list of stuff I want to work on in 2019. Ah, uh, um, <laughs> sorry, whoops, uh, wrong pocket. There we go. As you can see, I don't exactly have heaps here, because as I am sure you're aware, if you've tried to set yourself New Year's resolutions, it isn't exactly easy to think up a big list of goals that you think are realistically achievable. I do have a couple of other resolutions that aren't on this list, but I think I'm gonna keep those to myself as they're a bit more personal. I'd love to keep stalling because if I don't, this video probably won't be too long, but I know that you're all probably sitting there yelling at me to just bloody get on with it. So, all right, all right. Without further ado, here is my very short list of New Year's resolutions for 2019. Resolution number one. In term four of year nine this year, I want to bring home a good report. Nothing but A's and B's. We're starting off strong and somewhat serious here. Last year, especially in term three and four, I got a little distracted in class and also had a lot of out of school commitments to worry about. And unfortunately, some of my marks suffered due to this when I got my report back at the end of the year. This year, I don't want any of that. I want it to be a completely different story. As the resolution states, I want to bring home a report with nothing but A's and B's at the end of the year. I'm not just going to say something vague like, I'm gonna try harder in class or whatever, I actually want to try out a couple of different strategies. An example of one of these you might have heard of involves this thing, a tomato timer. It's called the Pomodoro technique. Pomodoro meaning tomato in Italian. It's basically where you put the timer on for 25 minutes, and work really hard on the thing you have to do with no distractions, and then when the timer is over, you take a break for the same amount of time, 25 minutes, and then set the timer again, and work again for another session. The sections of work are called Pomodoros. That's the version I know anyway. There's lots of different variations of the same basic idea. I'm not really sure why it has to be a tomato timer specifically. I was gonna use this egg timer, but I felt like using an actual tomato timer was a bit more legitimate. Anyway, next resolution. Resolution number two. Buy and play the new Generation 8 Pokemon games for Nintendo Switch and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This one is probably the least serious entry on the list, as you can probably tell, but I still wanted to include it because it is something I want to do this year and I'm excited to do this year. Besides, we can't have every entry be serious now, can we? We know for sure this year that we'll be getting a whole new set of Pokemon games. Not just remakes like last year's Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which were cool, but they still didn't look quite good enough for me to rush out and buy them. No, I decided that I'd wait and enjoy my first ever big screen Pokemon experience in a whole new region with new Pokemon and even a new story. Needless to say, I'm extremely excited to get to play these games. Last time we got a new generation back in 2016, I wasn't really very into the series yet at all, but the hype and excitement from my friends encouraged me even then to rush out and pick up the new games the second Sun and Moon came out. Sure, I picked Sun up for about 20 minutes and didn't touch the game until almost a year later, <laughs> But that's besides the point. Because when I did pick it up again, I instantly fell in love with it and was annoyed with myself that I didn't play it when the game came out and experience it at the same time that everyone else did. But that is exactly what I hope to do with these new Switch Pokemon titles. 
I'm actually considering pre-ordering the game so I can get it literally the second it comes out. You can tell I'm hyped for a game when I consider pre-ordering it because that's not something I do very often. The only thing now is to wait for a release date and hopefully hear some news in an upcoming Nintendo Direct whenever that actually ends up happening. But we might have to wait until E3, unfortunately, for a proper trailer. But anyway, enough about Pokemon. But if you want to hear me nerd out more about a franchise that I love so dearly, then it's your lucky day. Well, actually, not today specifically, sometime coming soon next month. Because my next video is all about Pokemon, so stay tuned for that. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, on the other hand, which you might have forgotten was even a part of this resolution, that's how much I've talked about Pokemon, is a game that came out last year and I've get to get my hands on. The Smash Brothers series is one that I've hardly tapped into in the past due to not being really big on fighting games, but with what many are calling not only the biggest Smash Brothers game of all time, but also the biggest crossover of multiple gaming franchises ever on the shelves, how could I not add this one to my games library? If there was ever a time to get into a series that I'm sure I will love, now is the time. Moving on. Resolution number three. Create and stick to a stricter uploading schedule, most likely a monthly quota of at least one quality video. This is another serious one that is definitely very relevant for you guys watching this video. At the end of last year, I went through all the videos that I made in 2018 here on the channel as a bit of a revisit, and after doing a count, I filmed, edited, and uploaded 14 videos here on the channel last year. Honestly, that was a bigger number than I expected. It might not sound like that bad of a number, especially for someone still in school, but when you consider that a considerable amount of those videos were extremely short, shiny Pokemon showcase videos, the number doesn't seem as high. So really, I only uploaded around 10 videos last year that were longer than like 30 seconds or whatever. And even then, some of those videos weren't completely original either. For example, the Funny Moments compilation, which was basically just a compilation video of stuff from previous videos, and also the channel trailer, which was again, really short. This year, I wanna to try to put out at least one high quality video, at least 10 to 15 minutes long every single month. If I have a great idea that I really want to make now, then I will. I'm not restricting myself to only one video a month. That's just kind of the bare minimum. But unfortunately for a lot of months, especially the ones later in the year, where the heat for schoolwork kind of gets turned up, that may end up being the case. It's easy enough to upload one video every week, or maybe even every day, when you get paid to do it as your job full time and don't have to do anything else on the side. But when you do YouTube mostly as a hobby and are still in school, it can be hard sometimes to find time for uploading. I know I've said vague stuff in past what I want to accomplish this year kind of videos, like I want to upload more, but I've never really made a real effort to establish a proper schedule quota sort of thing. That's why this year, instead of just saying it, I want to put my words into action. Also in uploading more frequently and with more high quality content, hopefully that will attract some more viewers to the channel. Because right now looking at this sub count is just Kind of depressing. I'm not seeing enough movement! And finally, resolution number four. Save up enough money to buy an iPhone 7 and finally replace the old iPod 5 from 2012. It's at a point now where I've sort of given up on asking for a phone for birthdays and Christmas. You know those kind of people who get asked, so what do you want for your birthday or Christmas? Or whatever, and they're like, um, hmm. I don't know, I guess I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, I'm not one of those kind of people. I'm the kind of person who'll have a list ready at the end of September and every time I make a purchase, even five months before Christmas or a birthday, I think, should I get this now or just wait until Christmas and save for something else? My brother is kind of one of those people, but that's mainly because he's so rolling in money. He can just buy whatever he wants whenever he wants it. He doesn't have to wait until some special occasion for someone else to buy it for him, or in the case of birthdays, get given money so that he can buy it himself. Then again, the only reason he's so damn rich is because he never actually spends any money on anything. I'm pretty sure the last thing he bought was literally Fortnite V-Bucks. That ain't a joke either. <laughs> I've been asking for many years for a phone, and for whatever reason, mum and dad don't like the idea of me getting one. I think the main things that they don't like are that it's sort of an ongoing expense with data plans and that sort of thing, and they also don't like the idea of me having access to the internet at all times especially during the school term. Mum especially thinks that there's no way I could concentrate in class with the entire internet, hours of videos to watch, text to read, and Instagram feeds to check, all exploding out of one little pocket. To be honest, she's probably right about that to some regard. But I think with some time I can build up a resistance and somehow, some way, tear myself away from the screen to learn something for six hours a day, every weekday, for many weeks a year, I know. Sounds insane, but somehow, I think I can manage.
when you're in school it's not like you have a steady source of income other than pocket money unless you have a job so buying the latest iPhone for over a thousand bucks isn't exactly the most practical idea so I'm settling for an iPhone 7. I would get a 6 or a 6s if I wasn't so scared that they're going to drop update for support for those soon. I mean the original iPhone 6 came out September 19th 2014 a little under five years ago. The iPhone 7 on the other hand only came out a couple of years ago in 2016 so like three years ago. Wow, 2016 was three years ago. Oh, where is the time gone? So I'd be more confident in getting it than getting the 6 or 6S. It's affordable, supports the latest iOS updates, runs okay and has a decent enough camera. So it's a pretty good fit for what I need it for anyway. So there you have it guys. I told you it wasn't very long, but I think some of them will be really good for me if I can actually pull through with them, especially the more serious ones to do with, you know, school. I'm already doing okay on my third resolution as this is my first upload of the year and it's actually in January. Barely. Um, <laughs> I really took my time to upload this one for the first month and barely just squeezed it in. That is, I hope I did. Obviously, I don't know. It's the 28th when recording, but hopefully I got it up in time. Otherwise, I'll have already failed resolution number three, which would be just great, wouldn't it? Failing a resolution before I've even made the resolutions video. <laughs> I probably could have made better use of my holiday time, but anyway. We'll have to see how that resolution and also the first one holds up when I go back to school next week. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked it don't forget to hit that button below. Also subscribe if you're new, leave a comment with your feedback and maybe even check out some of my other videos. If you like this one, I think you'll also like some of the other stuff I do here. If you do any of the things I just mentioned, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. For the last time guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Okay, real speedy uh, Christmas haul part, uh, Super Mario Party and uh, two new Joy-Cons. Uh, Switch uh, messenger bag, with uh, comes with a carrier case, which is okay, great. A uh, bunch of books, I've already read a uh, couple of them. Uh, this this one, this one's really good. Uh, 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 new mouse, it's, uh, it's really good, it's clicky, it's got side buttons, it's got adjustable DPI. It's, so, oh no, it's connected, oh no, I've done something. Last but definitely not least, my uh, brand new HyperX headphones. These things are my children, and I love them, and yeah. Oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, they're going, they're going. Nerd Shrine update, real quick. Uh, golden ticket from uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory in City. Uh, Lego Mario, the, that I built, it's uh, pixel perfect, really, really neat. Uh, Yoda Yoda, I don't know if you've seen Yoda yet, but uh, Yoda's cool. And uh, Breath of the Wild Poster, Breath of the Wild Poster's cool, yeah, great, okay, bye-bye.